So the Kuznets curve turned out to be wishful thinking. Reductions of inequality are not an automatic benefit of economic growth. And the promise that the rising tide floats all boats only seems to work out for the yachts. Perhaps much due to the same wishful thinking, in the early 90s, the idea emerged of an environmental Kuznets curve. Much like the original Kuznets curve, the environmental Kuznets curve hypothesis has pollution rise with income at first until some turning point income level has, is reached from which pollution starts to fall with further income growth, with further economic growth. The hypothesis was popularized by the World Bank World Development Report in 1992, saying the view that greater economic activity inevitably hurts the environment is based on static assumptions about technology, taste and environment investments. The report provided the following intuition for the hypothesis. At first, economic growth puts pressure on the environment through a scale effect. Without changes to the structure of the economy or available technologies, pollution grows proportional with economic activity. However, at some higher income level, further growth starts to raise both demand for improvements in environmental quality and investment opportunities to do so.